So now we have our arch nicely made. What I want to do is turn it into a component so that we can duplicate it easily. So if I just select this thing, I'm going to grab everything that's behind it. I'm going to catch these vertical lines, which I don't want. So what I'm going to do instead is find a perspective where I'm only seeing the piece that I want, which is tricky. I'll sketch up. Let's see. There we go. And now I can select just the arch. So I'm going to click the Create Component button, and I'm going to name this Arch. And now I have a nice component, which I can duplicate. So if I pick it up by this endpoint, and tap the Option key, you can see I'm sliding right along the red axis, and it's going to snap to this endpoint here. And now if I type X4, enter, I made four copies instead of a single one. And you can see the beginnings of a colonnade. So it would be nice if these had walls in between them. So if we double click this one, now we're editing inside the component. Everything else is sort of shaded out. And I can use this pencil to take a line from this endpoint, right at the tip of the arch. I'm going to run it right over and use on the red axis, as you can see, this other endpoint as a reference. I'm going to draw a line there. So you can see I just extended my component a little bit to the left. And this one also extended to the left of the line. Now if I take a line from this midpoint, straight down the blue axis, to the base and drop it there, I just created a plane. And now I don't need this extra line segment. And I can repeat the process on the other side. Over to here. And again down right to the bottom. And so now you can see I've got a nice wall. So if I click over here, I'll come out of my component, and we can see the whole thing. So let's turn this into a proper colonnade. I'm holding the shift key to select multiples, and I'm going to move them. I'm just going to pick it up from anywhere, move them over here a little bit. And then I'm going to copy, control C, and paste, control V. I'm going to drop this any old place. It doesn't really matter. You want to flip it around, hopefully on the blue, and we're going to go exactly 180 degrees. And now I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to pick it up by a corner that's going to touch another corner where I put it down. So I'm going to pick it up by this back corner. Click, not click and drag, but click so I can still zoom and pan as I'm holding it. And I can zoom back in and find that other corner that I want it to touch. Right there. And if I drop it, and everything went according to plan, it lines up very nicely. And now you can see why we only did a quarter of the base, the cross section, because that quarter is all we need to give us the full effect of the column. And you can see how a very complex shape in Gothic architecture all comes out of a very simple path and a very simple cross section repeated through space.